Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at another Gundam Age figure. But before I get into that, I do want to mention something. I know it's been a while since I made a Gundam Age video and I'm not really experiencing burnout. I'm just kind of tired. So yeah, it's been a minute since I've made any kind of videos or let alone some Gundam Age videos. But I do want to let y'all guys know that I will be back with more Gundam Age goodness. So don't you worry there. But otherwise, let's go ahead and just jump right into the Robot Damashi Gundam Age 1 Spalo. And I'd like to thank the sponsor of the video, New Type HQ. If you want to pick up some Gundam Age goodness of your own or some tools and paints, go ahead and jump on over to the website. The price range is about anywhere from like 15 bucks to quite possibly $35, really just depending on where you are. If you're over maybe in the west, it might be in the higher end. If you're over here in Japan or somewhere in the east, then it's probably gonna be closer to the $15 mark just because it always has been a relatively cheap robot Namashi. I think even the retail was only like maybe 25, 30 bucks. Now in terms of details, uh, obviously the torso and the head, backpack, that's all going to be the same as the H1 normal that I did cover about a couple of months ago. So if you do want to see that and you want to see a little bit extra stuff when it comes to the Robot Namashi H1 normal, you can check out that video. But for this one, it's really just going to have the limbs that's all going to be different and then the new daggers. Now in terms of details, all of it looks really good. I have no issues with the way it looks. Obviously, it's going to have that kind of slender look and that more like very like super dynamic anime style, which I do like. And I don't really hate it per se. Now, when it's standing straight up, yeah, it's a little bit uh, not really to my taste. However, when it comes to different dynamic poses, it's going to look fantastic. Now, jumping right into the articulation, it can move quite a bit. It's going to have a large large range of movement so when you're trying to put it any kind of like different positions or any kind of movements i mean it's going to have everything from the double elbow bend it's going to have the good shoulder joints it's going to have the ab crunches the waist swivels going to have the leg bends all that you need to get this thing into some of those dynamic poses it's going to have now in terms of accessories, it is going to come with different types of hands. It's going to have the closed fists, it's going to have the open hands, as well as the accessory holding hands. The back of the arm is going to have the closed vents, and it's also going to have the open vents for the thrusters. It will also come with two Shiguru blades. One is going to be a clear green, the other one's going to be more of like a metallic teal. And of course you do get a stand adapter. Now one little gimmick is actually going to have is going to be on the knee. You just fold it right out and it can shoot the needle missiles. Now for comparison, here it is next to some other Gundam Age 1 Spalos, and it basically is in the same kind of height realm as like the advanced grade as well as the high grade. Now if you want to take the thruster effects from the Age 1 Normal Robot Damashi and then slap it onto the Age 1 Normal, you could absolutely do that because it is the same backpack. And having your nice little Spalo with some good thruster effects, it's actually going to look pretty damn cool. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. I don't have a whole bunch to say because the Spalo has never been something that comes with just a large array of accessories. It's more or less just the Shiguru blades. It's going to have a couple little gimmicks here and there, and then it's going to have the different hands. So other than that, it is just a pretty bare minimum uh, mobile suit, but what is it like having it as a Robot Namashi figure? Well, I will say, guys, it's definitely a cop -it. I think for the price that it generally goes for on eBay or any other like online sellers, or even like secondhand stores, I do think paying 30 bucks or less is a good price for this because, true, it doesn't come with much, but I think what you get with it is going to be playability, and that's like the whole point of these Robot Damashis. They're pretty sturdy, and they are really good at posing, and just having some good action poses of a basically 1 to 144 kind of scaled uh, figure is going to look good on the shelf with all the other 1 to 144 scaled figures from the age line, especially like the Gofrans, and we'll be talking about those later. But for the most part, this is a very, very solid Robot Damashi, and I just think it's an instant cop it. But other than that, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to the members that has been there for me on this channel. I know it's been a minute since I've really been uploading stuff. So all my members who've constantly supported me, 
thank you so much. And to all the viewers who are always there watching and just, you know, I guess patiently waiting for a new video to drop. Thank you guys so much as well. I'm just kind of going through, a, you know, a little bit of a, I guess a down phase. So once I get back up and all, you know, chirpity and everything, I'll definitely get back to making videos. But other than that, thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.